Hey guys, my name is Austin Gregory and I am going to teach you how to create AI for your Unity game. Now, of course, AI can consist of a ton of different things depending on your game. But in my case, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an enemy AI. It's going to allow the enemy to randomly wander around in the area around it. If the player gets close to the enemy, we're going to start chasing the player. If the enemy gets close enough, the player will be attacked by the enemy. And if we get far enough away, they'll go back to their idle or wander state. We're going to be doing this with a state machine that we're going to write ourselves. And we're going to focus a lot on creating a very extensible but simple to understand state machine. Because state machines can get very complex. But the goal here is to understand what a state machine is and how we can use it to do this type of decision making that we're going to want to do. Where we have to go from one state to another based on a condition and maybe fall back to the previous state based again on a different condition. So there's a lot of stuff here that we can do and it's going to allow us to do a lot of cool things. For instance, a state machine, while it can control what our enemies are doing, it can also control the state of a door. So it's closed or open, right? Those are two different states. And on top of all this, we're going to set up a very simple health system with a very simple attack system so that the player can be attacked by the enemy and also take damage that will be displayed in the UI with a simple health bar. Now we're not going to be focusing on the details of this, such as, you know, the, the UI, the animations, that kind of thing, but we are going to include them so we can show you how to work with a real world scenario when it comes to using the state machines and this type of AI. So I hope you're looking forward to this, guys. In the first lesson, we're going to set up the state class itself, so defining what a state is. And then from there on, we're going to set up the state machine, writing the player class, the enemy, uh, part one and part two. It's going to be a long bit there because there's a lot happening with the enemy. And we also have to write the attacking system and set up the animations. Just going to be a whole lot of fun stuff in this. So my name is Austin, and I will see you in the first lesson.